Hi guys, this is Firecats, and this video is for my um, readathon that I'm hosting over at Goodreads. It's called July Oweenie because it is summer and Halloween put together. So for prompt one, I have let don't mind me, I'm reading it. It says Toil, Boil, and Trouble. Read a mystery involving a witch and it or a supernatural being or about baking and cooking because some people want to read some earth books and some people want to read Halloween books. For me, I have decided to do I sure got stuck. The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I think that's how it's pronounced, which is about witches. So, I'm doing the Halloween wrap for this one. So, that's that book. And then uh, prompt two, who is the big bad wolf? The wolf lives in the woods. The branches, the leaves tangle in darkness. Um, read a book that takes place in the woods or has shapeshifters or the cover has, uh, you know, branches on it because it's supposed to be in the woods. So I'm picking Heartless by Mar Mar Marissa Meyer. Hopefully I get to this. It's pretty big. So yeah. Hopefully, right? <laughs> okay, so prompt three. The sea holds songs of death. Sirens, mermaids, and other sea monsters are told to us in stories. So read a book about one. Well, this is going to be kind of carried over to another readathon that I was I'm doing right now. It's called Retellathon. Um, it's the book, the group book. Um, I haven't gotten that far in it, and I probably won't because I'm reading uh, Scarlet by Morass by Mare. So the Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. Um, it's going to be my pick, which is a retelling with a phenomenal twist of The Little Mermaid. So, yeah. I'm going to stack that onto that good, that redefine and hopefully get this done this month. And then, um, the, group, the group read we did, well, I kind of decided to you to do Carrie by Stephen King. So, um, if you don't want to read it, you don't have to. You could double on any of these challenges. Um, I'm pretty relaxed about that. Um, I don't think we have a Twitter link to this. It's all in Goodreads. So, um, I'll pro if you want to get involved with this, maybe I'll do a, a group conversation or something for the Twitter people. Um, and the Goodread people, maybe, just so they can, um, talk with each other quicker. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But, oh, I forgot to announce the dates. Ah, silly me. Okay, so, it starts on July 15th and ends on the 22nd. So, uh, it gives us a few, like, a week or, s or less, uh, to before we start August and I know that people are doing uh, the newts and stuff and a lot of Harry Potter stuff next month but I do have a few uh, readathons well I have one in August and one in September that I'm start I'm putting together August is my uh, fairy tale readathon which is plugged like almost the same time as the the other fairy a thon, fairy tale a thon that someone else is hosting. So we're, yeah, it's gonna be like two weeks of fairy tales or something like that, which is silly, but whatever. And then S September, oh yeah, and the fairy a thon I'll have it's co-hosted with someone, and I'll have another video about that. But in September, I decided to put together a dinosaur read a thon. Which I already decided would be, uh, the group read would be Jurassic Park. So, if anybody is interested in that, just give me, give me a reply. Tell me, hey, I want to join. And I will uh, 
let you know. Um, we're working on the prompts right now with the dinosaurs and stuff. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think any of the books have to be dinosaur books. We're kind of working it in so you could hook it up with other, with, you know, other books. So, yeah, that is all for now, I believe. I just wanted to get this quick thing about the, the july weenie a -thon thing. Whatever. Whatever I want to call it. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to the Goodreads group that I have, which is, um, just two people making up readathons and holding them. And then we have, like, 24-hour readathons that we, we have started one, and I have planned for another one, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah. That is what I have planned. And goodbye. See you later, alligator.